Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be making a Dominican cake. I got an order requesting this particular cake, so let's get into it. I have a pound of salted butter, 12 egg yolk, some Dominican vanilla, bacon powder, one and a quarter cup of orange juice, a pound of sifted flour, and a pound of sugar. And I have five egg whites. I'm going to add my room temperature butter into the mixer. And this is going to be mixed, y'all, for a while. You have to make sure that your butter um, is mixed really, really well. It takes about 10 minutes, at least that, to get it nice and a pale white color almost. I'm adding my sugar slowly and gradually. And um, that is going to continue to beat and beat and beat until that is well incorporated into my butter mixture. And as you can see here, it is nice and white and fluffy. I'm just scraping my sides to make sure I get all the sugar, if at all, from the bottom. I'm adding in my egg yolk one at a time and mixing it thoroughly to get that incorporated after each addition. I am adding my two tablespoons of baking powder to my flour, a tablespoon of vanilla to my orange juice. And now what I'm doing is basically adding my flour mixture, alternating with my orange juice. Um, and we're just gonna keep repeating that until um, it's all finished. Alternate between the flour and the orange juice and always end with your dry mix. And I am letting that mix making sure not to over mix it. I'm gonna get started on my frosting. Um, I have the seven egg whites right here. I'm just gonna beat and beat and beat that until it turns into a meringue. Um, this takes maybe five minutes depending on your speed that you have your mixer on. As you can see, it is getting sudsy like. Um, you can see the change here. It's gotten a little bit wider and a little bit fluffier and we're going to beat this until we get um, stiff peaks and this is what we're going to fold into our batter see so i am just taking it in three parts adding it to my batter and folding it in this right here is what's going to give that cake that airy moist fluffy um appearance and taste just make sure you take your time um, when folding that in. Um, careful, again, not to over mix your batter. Look at that, that batter is coming together so nice and creamy and smooth, y'all. Look at that, delish. So this is the consistency that you want. I am spraying two 10 by two cake pans, um, just with some Baker's Joy. Um, spray it really well, because you don't want your cakes to stick. And adding my batter. Try to even it out, of course, to get equal parts so your cake will be about the same size. And just smooth that on around. Girl, that looks so good, y'all. Don't that better look creamy and silky and stuff? Yes. And always, of course, when I am making stuff, I always have the taste test, so I made a little cake for myself. You got to taste the product. You got to taste the product. So um, it has been in the oven for about 30 minutes at 350. And this is what you want, a nice golden brown cake. What I do is I wrap my cakes up after they've cooled for about five minutes or so. Um, this is an old baker's trick. Wrap it up um, so that you keep that moisture in. Yes, ma'am. Nice and moist. So I'm going to get started on making my frosting by adding two cups of sugar and a half a cup of water. And I'm going to have this on the stove um, to boil because this is the way that you make your meringue. Um, putting in your candy thermometer, of course, and this is going to go up to 240. 
Now, before that, however, at 220, when the water sugar mixture starts to boil, I wanna start making my meringue by beating my eggs. So I'm adding that to the mixer <clears throat> to get that started. And then at 240 is when I want to go ahead and start slowly pouring the hot syrup mixture into my mixed beet egg white. As you can see, my egg white meringue is coming along very, very well. And right here, you may not be able to see it, but I am pouring in the sugar mixture. You wanna do that slowly, of course, not all at once. And I just let it go, honey, just let it go for itself. And right here, what I'm doing is I'm filling the sides of the bowl. Um, when it's still hot, of course, you want to still allow it to go until it cools down. Still kind of warm. Look at that mixture, y'all. Looks like some marshmallow, don't it? Nice and white and fluffy. This is what you want. Nice and stiff. Look at that dreamy, dreamy meringue, y'all. All right, so listen. This is always why I want to make an extra um, one for myself. This is my dummy. So I'm opening it up. Look how yellow and beautiful that is on the inside, y'all. Oh my gosh, that cake is so beautiful. For my inside, I'm going to use the Dulce de Leche um, as my filling, the caramel, as you see here. And I am now just um, spreading some of that delicious filling, not filling, um, frosting on the side. And I'm going to cut into it, y'all, and let y'all see, honey. Mm. Girl, don't you want it? Don't, don't you want it? Delicious, y'all. Fluffy, moist. Look at that. That crumb is perfect. So I am going to go ahead and just start working on my clients. I'm going to build a wall um, around so that I can fill it with my caramel. I actually warmed the caramel up to loosen it up some for her cake. And I'm just going to pipe my my frosting around the cake. You know, and just do how I do it. Now, this is much different from American buttercream, y'all. Um, it's not as sweet and stiff um, as American buttercream. As far as when you try to do as I'm doing frosting it and get, you know, straight stiff lines and things like that so it's a lot different than american buttercream but it works just fill it on there y'all frosting that baby up y'all this takes a lot of time um it takes a lot it takes a lot of time um, than a re your regular cake, especially from the frosting um, procedure and things of so that sort that you have to do. So now I'm just um, piping on some designs to make it pretty. Freestyling here, y'all, that's how I do. And then just pipe a little border of pink around it. Get into them skills, y'all. Yes, get into them skills. <laughs> and just put a little around the top as well to kind of fill it out. So yeah, y'all, this is it, honey. This is it. This is the Dominican cake, baby. Yes, I hope that y'all enjoyed it. And thank y'all for watching. Try it, try it out. It was a little bit different than my normal, but I had fun. Yeah. Thank y'all for watching.